king of reggae. That song came to me actually like I was awake in my sleep. And um, in half an hour I got up, I had it all down, the bass line, everything, horns in my head. I couldn't get it out for a while. Years after we did some tour with Santana, Carlos Santana, and I mentioned the song to him. I didn't even have it on tape at the time. I just sing it to him. And he said, wow, it's awesome, Glenn. Santana was always a fan of Bob Marley. He liked his music, and I guess he liked him as a person as well. And he would have, he was happy to, to, for us to come together and do the song. He said, get my card from my manager, and we can come together whenever we have time and get this you know, done. Because I think it's a beautiful song you know, for Bob, and I'd like to be a part of it. So explain to Bob, to family man what I did, and he got upset. I mean, it was surprising that he got upset. He thought I was maybe taking his place for the, on behalf of the group, which I wasn't actually. I'm just, this is my song, and I think I'm free to do it with whatever I want to do it with, you know? But he felt a little bit intimidated because of me taking that step, you know, and I got irate. Uh, I guess he wouldn't have had it with me doing that song with Santana, so it never happened. So uh, about a couple of years after I met, but I was in touch with Dave at the time anyway, because I'd met him a couple of years before. And I mentioned it to Dave, who had a studio in Colorado, where we eventually laid the tracks down. You know, uh, As a matter of fact, we didn't have any other musician from Jamaica on the track, apart from myself. We flew in a drummer from, I don't remember where, but it was an American drummer and a lady, Sandra Ayers, the guy's Tate, Tate that did the drum, and Ayers that did the, the, the accompaniment, vocal accompaniment, and, uh, and Booba, that's um, Dave, Dave, a friend and, and business partner at the time, did the engineer, bass line, and guitar. That's where it started. And it sounded okay then, but um, it wasn't complete. We just completed it about over a year ago in Jamaica with some Jamaican musicians adding the native feel to it, you know. Some, some very um, well qualified Jama Jamaican uh, student musicians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 